We were a big,、um, we were one of their vendors for spirit wear. When my boys were there,、um, they played football, and the football coach at the time had me、um, do some. Uh, fleece jackets for the football coaches, and it kind of took off from there. Then we did some things for the swimming team, and that's kind of how we got our foot in the door as far as、um, the apparel. But because the kids were there and because we enjoyed it so much, we did a lot of volunteering at the school, and so the administration got to know us. And over time,、um, they got to a point where they were looking for a new uniform vendor. And asked us if we would like to come in and and talk about it, and so part of the deal with us doing the uniforms is, at one point they had a uniform vendor who was far away, and everything was done through the mail, but with us you can come in and feel the garments, try them on, put a skirt on your daughter, put a shirt on your son, that kind of a thing, and so now we also do a couple of other schools,、um, we do a prep school in northern New Hampshire, we do. Um, we're working with World Academy on their uniforms. So, even though our heart is with Bishop Gorton, we are really broad-based. We do a lot of spirit wear for a lot of different schools, and it has just really turned into a great thing. Jerry and Keith love working with the kids. They come in and talk to Keith or Jerry about what they want to do for their teams, and Jerry and Keith are able to steer them in a direction, and it, it gets to be a fun. Mentioned your phone cover.、Uh, it's probably available in the industry. Yeah, yeah. No, I have a question I, very quickly、uh, little, little. for my, yeah, yeah, for Marie. <laughs> going actually, both you guys, because it has to do with a little bit of color. But explain to me. I vision screen printing as you see it at you know I've had T-shirts done and they use the iron. Oh right! Is yeah, that the screen iron printing? <laughs> that N- not really, not no. That is not traditional screen printing. So what、um, Marie is wearing is screen printing. That's correct. correct. And it's done with paint. It's done with a product that's called Plastisol. It's actually a petroleum-based product.、Uh, we call it ink, but it's really kind of a, a pasty、um, consistency, and that is passed through a,、uh, a screen、uh, where there was an image、um, burned into the screen, where the ink can pass through where the image is, and it cannot pass through、uh, the other areas, and that's what puts the image on the shirt. And then the shirt is passed through a、uh, dryer that brings the shirt up to 320 degrees. In which case the plastisol chemically changes and adheres to the shirt, and actually、uh, makes the imprint. The imprint should outlast the、uh, the life of the shirt if it's cured properly. To me,、um, comparing it to the、uh, the grocery business, it's like、uh, you can't have the bread without the milk, and so that's really part of the whole uh, industry uh, is the whole、uh, promotional products industry. Basically, we like to say if you can put a logo on it, we can sell it to you. Anything you can put your logo on, we can sell. You know, I I just want to do the transfer process versus、um, regular screen printing. Okay. Well, what's the, he, a good a good question would be,、uh, especially for like marketing、mm-hmm. clients. What is the cost differential? Quite a bit, I'm sure. Yeah,、uh, the cost of you now you're talking the cost differential for transfers versus, versus traditional screen printing,、yes. and、uh, I'm going to answer that. It's not really an issue of cost; it's more of an issue of what is the right process for what we're trying to achieve.、Mm-hmm. If we need a hundred shirts and we need them now or, or fairly soon, and all at the same time, you're going to use traditional screen printing. But in cases like you're talking about, where there's maybe the shop at the beach and and he has a bunch of transfers up on the wall, you're going to choose one.、Uh, he doesn't want to put a hundred shirts of each design in his inventory. In that case, he has he stocks just the blank shirts and he transfers the shirt, the design onto the shirt as needed, and sells it to the customer. So it's really a different use.、Uh, another another time we'll use transfers is on some of the、uh, you know the the new thing now is the、uh, the performance fabrics and the, the polyester、oh, moisture、yes. wicking fabrics, and sometimes those can be challenged to screen print on.、Uh, 
specifically if it's a multiple color design. And on that kind of, that case, we may use a uh, may have a company uh, produce the transfer for us. Uh, we could produce the transfers ourselves, but companies that do that have the equipment set up specially uh, to do a better job with those. Uh, and because it's a it's a difficult application, that might be a more um, conducive way to get the job done properly. Uh, we're all about putting the product out right. Um, the first right. time. The first time. I, I like to say on the out approvals, that's something uh, we actually cast in stone. We insist uh, that a customer see and approve the artwork. Uh, and, and that's the way I like to term it. This is one thing we don't like in this business is surprises. Oh. You open that box and look at those shirts, you know exactly uh, what is on it ahead of time. Now, you're a customer service business. Also.